Welcome to the 6.4 Notes on Absolute Value. I'm your host, Miss Scott. Absolute value of a number is the distance between zero and that number on the number line. The absolute value of a number is written as the absolute value of A. So whenever you see these lines on the outside of a number, that means find the absolute value of the number. Absolute values are never negative. They are always positive. That's because absolute values represent a distance. So they're always positive or zero. Here's an example. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2 because the number negative 2 is 2 units from 0. The absolute value of 2 is also 2 because it's the same distance, 2 units from 0. Let's look at the first example. It says find the absolute value of the given number, graph the number on the number line. So to find the absolute value of 3, that means how far is 3 from 0. So let's plot the number 3. Here's 3 on your number line. The distance from 0 to 3 is 3 units. That means that the absolute value of 3 is 3. On the next example, you have the absolute value of negative 2 and a half. So let's plot the number negative 2 and a half. Negative 2 and a half would be right between negative 2 and negative 3. The distance from negative 2 and a half to 0 is 2 and a half units. So that means that the absolute value of negative 2 and a half is 2 and a half. You can pause the video here to copy the notes if you need to. For the on your own problems, Numbers 1 and 2 are just like the examples. Graph the number to find its distance from 0, and that's the absolute value of the number. For 3 and 4, you are going to compare the numbers using less than, greater than, or equal to. You can use a number line to find the absolute values if you need it, but if you're comfortable finding it without a number line, that's okay too. The very last example, or the very last question, number five, says the table shows the elevations of several animals. Which animal is the farthest from sea level? You should explain your reasoning using the phrase absolute value. It may be helpful to draw your own number line here to decide which one is the furthest from sea level, but make sure that you explain your reasoning. So quick recap. To find the absolute value of a number, it's the distance from that number to zero. So the absolute value of 100 would be 100. The absolute value of negative 30 would be 30. What do you think the absolute value of zero would be? How far is zero from zero? It's zero. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to enter your answers online.